Today is Thursday, August 6th, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. Well, a Stockton man is dead and a suspected killer is behind bars today. The Stockton Police Department reports that shortly before 7 p.m. yesterday, officers responded to the Wilson Way area in the Mormon Slough, an area where the homeless normally sets up tents. When those officers arrived, they found a 40-year-old man who had been stabbed. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Detectives responded to the scene and were able to arrest 40-year-old Rafael Pimentel Hernandez, who was suspected in the homicide as well as other crimes. This is now the city's 25th homicide of 2020 and the second time in recent weeks that someone was killed in a homeless encampment. An attempted traffic stop turned a dangerous last night in South Stockton. Police attempted to stop a vehicle that had ran a red light near MLK Boulevard and Ligon Street. The suspect allegedly began driving erratically after seeing those officers to avoid them. The 16 and 18 year olds then allegedly drove the wrong way on Center Street and collided with another driver near Church Street. There were two occupants in the other car and all four had to be taken to area hospitals. Today, they are listed in critical but stable condition. Police found firearms inside the teen's vehicle and referred those charges to the district attorney's office. Coming back from the break, good news for people who use the bus, what RTD is doing to help people during this pandemic. Welcome back. During the COVID-19 pandemic, San Joaquin RCD has had to reduce bus routes. However, many of those routes are now returning with one big incentive, no fares. Their buses will now be free from August 16th when new routes open back up to August 29th. RTD says in spite of an 8% budget drop this year, they feel the need to remove fares for nearly two weeks to regain the public's trust. The buses are disinfected and riders will be required to wear masks. They are also in the process of installing protective barriers and disinfecting supplies. RTD says that they are in the process now of planning to open more routes when and if public schools reopen later this year. That's all for this SCW News Digest. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back here tomorrow.